Hey guys, what's up? Dingo Crikey here with another Transformers commentary video, and this one is going to be yet another Takara vs. Hasbro video, this time comparing Hasbro's Combiner Wars Bruticus versus its Takara counterpart in the Unite Warriors line. So, basic rundown, this is just a side-by-side -side image comparison looking at the official Hasbro and Takara product images as they are essential to the commentary. And the commentary is mostly going to be an objective analysis looking at the differences between the two figures, and I'll throw in my thoughts on the figures here and there. And this time we're going to have Hasbro's Combiner Wars figures on the left and Takara's Unite Warriors figures on the right. The first comparison we have is Deluxe Class Blastoff. I think these guys have the most striking differences of the whole lineup, as of course not only are their colors different, but they're both both entirely different molds, in this case Combiner Wars reusing the original Firefly mold for Blastoff, whereas Unite Warriors gives Blastoff an entirely new mold. These guys are really different looking literally from head to toe, as if we start out with the toes on the Combiner Wars ones, we see he has, you know, fairly regular Transformers feet, a little bit pointy, and then the Unite Warriors one uses the thrusters as the feet, and in the head sculpt we not only have Unite Warriors one having a face plate and the Combiner Wars one having, you know, regular Transformers face, but also the way the entire head is sculpted and then furthermore colored. Speaking of colors, they're really different in this regard as well. They do have the similarities of purple, though the shades are a little bit different, and they have black. The main difference, of course, though, is that their, I guess you would say, primary colors are strikingly different, as on the Combiner Wars version we have sort of a rustic brown, and then on the Unite Warriors one we have, I guess you could say it's sort of like a brownish orange, or maybe like a burnt orange for uh, those who are familiar with Bionicle. If the contrast in colors wasn't enough, the paint placement is also really different. The colorings of the details on the legs don't even mirror each other in a vague way here. I think the differences in the alternate modes speak for themselves. Combiner Wars is a fighter jet, the same one used for Firefly, and Unite Warriors he has his traditional blast-off space shuttle. Other than the design and color differences, we can also see that Unite Warriors 1 has the top of the space shuttle being, uh, you know, many different colors, whereas the Combiner Wars 1 is uh, pretty much that solid rustic color with a you know, few paint applications on the wings. My personal opinions, I much prefer the Unite Wars version in this case. Anyways, the next one we have is Deluxe Class Brawl. The differences here aren't initially nearly as striking, so let's go in and pick some of them out. One of the more striking ones would be the head. The Combiner Wars one looks to have much more of a traditional you know, black head with a red visor, whereas the Unite Warriors one has this like funky orange forehead, orange visor, and a red face, so really different looking in the head. The bodies are pretty similar. The Takara one does have a little bit more uh, things colored in there. His arms are also very similar in both versions. Takara does have uh, his hands painted black, however. Legs, pretty similar as well. We do have the upper legs being black on Unite Warriors, and then being gray on Combiner Wars. Waist area, we have red tidbits on a Combiner Wars version, and uh, just gray or silver on Unite Warriors. Both of the tank modes almost look identical. There may be like a slight variation in, you know, the shade of this sort of rustic color that they're using. The Takar one does appear to be a little bit brighter in these images. Nevertheless, overall, these guys look really similar. My personal opinion. Both of these guys look pretty cool. I might prefer Combiner Wars version just because it does have more of a dark color scheme. I like the face better on the Combiner Wars version as well, though I can see the appeal for the Unite Warriors one. Next character we have, Voyager Class Onslaught. One of the first things that jumps out at me is that the heads look radically different. With the way they're painted, the Unite Warriors one not only being blue a different color entirely, but having the silver face plate and the orange eye, whereas the Combiner Wars one is a black head with a red visor. Some other things we have is the dull army green on the Combiner Wars version shoulder, and we also have it uh, on the waist, which appears to be a color that's only present in the Combiner Wars version of the figure. Instead, the Unite Warriors version uses sort of like a dull brown color in the waist. No paint on the shoulders, they're just left blue, except for those dull rust brown it flaps on the sides of the shoulders. Once again, the Combiner Wars version has the lower arms colored the same color as the hand, whereas the Unite Warriors version has the hands painted black. 
It's also worth noting that the Unite Warriors version doesn't appear to have any purple details altogether. As we can see, the Combiner Wars one has purple on the knees, Unite Warriors version doesn't have them there. Well, he does have the Decepticon symbol, but other than that. In the vehicle mode, the shades of blue make for uh, pretty striking differences, but also in the core of the vehicle, we have a lot more black with the Unite Warriors version, a lot more gray with Combiner Wars. Now with the Unite Warriors version, in the core of the body, we do also have a lot of orange in there as well, which is something uh, we'll see uh, more of in Bruticus. We can also see the Unite Warriors version paints the wheel separately than the tire. Combiner Wars just leaves them entirely black. A few more differences there. It's a total toss-up for me on these guys. I think they look awesome in their own ways. They both appear to, in this case, have like the same amount of details, just uh, placed differently. I do like how the Unite Warriors version uses darker colors. I think the dull colors in the Combiner Wars version uh, do look good as well. Personally, I think both are cool in their own ways. Really can't decide on these two guys. Next figure we have is Deluxe Class Swindle. If I had to pick out one difference between these two guys, it would be that it looks as if the Unite Warriors one switches out much of the Combiner Wars black details for silver. For example, we have a lot of that going on in the legs, not exactly all the same paint placement, but it's there. Also, in the upper body, even in the arms, the Combiner Wars version doesn't appear to have any silver details, does have a little bit of gray, for example, on the waist there. You can take a look at the heads, they're quite different as well. The Unite Wars version does appear to use a new head sculpt. Then in vehicle mode, I think we just have a lot more evidence of that uh, whole black and silver thing going on. We can also see the Unite Warriors one paints the wheels separately from the tires and gives him purple on the hood of the Jeep. We do have a few other details throughout the robot and vehicle modes, namely in the robot mode arms, but to wrap up with my personal opinions, I much prefer the Combiner Wars version in this case. I think uh, how they use a lot more black really helps to just balance out the color scheme altogether. Whereas in my opinion, the Unite Warriors one does look to be uh, lacking a darker tone to really contrast against that uh, sort of yellowish color and that silver. And even in the Jeep modes, the Unite Warriors one does have more colors, you can give it that, but the purple on the hood looks really awkward to me. Probably because he doesn't have purple anywhere else on the vehicle. Anyways, those are just my personal opinions on it. Then we have Deluxe Class Vortex. In short, Unite Warriors one is basically gray and blue. Combiner Wars one has a whole bunch of different colors, especially in the body. Also though, paint placements are entirely different here. Unite Warriors one doesn't have a whole lot of blue throughout the body, just a whole lot of gray, whereas the Combiner Wars just has that uh, connector piece being gray, and the rest of it is like colored and purple and yellow and red. The Unite Warriors one has the blue on the upper legs and on the knee pieces, and then gray on the lower legs, whereas the Combiner Wars one uh, has pretty much the entire leg being gray with the knees colored separately and the upper legs, but overall, you know, they maintain that gray. Head sculpts also color differently as well, and then in helicopter mode, Pretty much uh, same kind of differences, different color scheme, different uh, distribution of colors, that kind of thing. But then we also have the fact that the Unite Warriors version has four blades on the helicopter instead of the two. We can also see in the helicopter modes the differences in gray are much more evident. My personal opinions, I much prefer the Unite Wars version in this case. The Combiner Wars one just looked like it tried a little bit too hard, especially with all of those colors in the body. I could see some people finding the Unite Wars one to be really bland looking and really liking the Combiner Wars version better. For me, there's no competition here. Uh, I do also appreciate the fact that the Unite Warriors version uh, gives him the four blades on the helicopter. And before we get to Bruticus, here's a quick look at the Combiner Wars Legends Class Shockwave. I do believe Takara is going to be releasing their own version of this figure, however it does not go along with their Bruticus. Therefore, let's move right on to the last comparison, and that is Bruticus himself. And these guys ended up being much more different looking than I originally expected them to be. Obviously we have the differences with all of the individual figures. 
figures comprising the limbs. Compared to some of the changes, the differences in the legs are actually a more subtle, at least in my opinion. The arms look entirely different on these guys. Obviously, they were some of the more different looking in the lineups, and those contrasting looks carried right over to their arm modes. We can also see Onslaught, or the core of Bruticus himself, is really different looking. I mean, in that chest armor piece, it's all gray on the Combiner Wars version. In Unite Warriors version, the color of gray isn't even the same. It's a darker gray, and then we have a burnt orange on top of that, and uh, purple going along with it. The heads are a little bit more similar, but we do have the uh, main part of the head being black in the Combiner Wars version, and gray, a light gray on the Combiner Wars version. Upper legs, strangely, they're all light gray on Unite Warriors, whereas they're blue with some additional details of purple and gray on the Combiner Wars version. One of the most interesting differences, at least in my opinion, is in the feet of both, as all of the hand slash foot pieces for the Combiner Wars version are uniform, just being light gray. In the Unite Wars version, we have two of them, the ones for Blastoff and Vortex being gray, where Swindle and Brawl have their corresponding colors. As far as my personal opinions, I think this is another toss-up for me. As far as the overall look, I couldn't really decide, so I kind of looked at more nitty-gritty details and uh, kind of came up with an equal, arbitrary amount of pros and cons for both. On one side, when I was initially looking at the Unite Warriors version, I thought that the way the chest and blast off looks similar and nothing else really keeps that theme looked a little bit lopsided. But then if we look at the Combiner Wars version, we have uh, the gray chest and uh, Vortex's colors also creating that look. Outside of the fact of it looking a little bit lopsided, I do like the fact that the Unite Wars version has more color in the chest rather than just leaving it all gray. But its upper legs are uh, pretty bland, whereas the Combiner Wars version uh, have nicer balance of colors. If I end up having both teams in hand one day, my opinions may change, but for right now, I think both are pretty cool looking. Now, before I wrap up this comparison, I did want to show a quick slideshow showing each pair with their G1 show and toy counterpart. Now what I used to do is just compare them with Dreamwave representations of the characters which, which were usually based off of their show design. But it since has been pointed out to me that oftentimes the Combiner Wars versions seem to more often try to homage the original toys of the characters rather than their show counterparts. And of course there are exceptions, there are cases in which both lines, especially Combiner Wars, will seem to try to just take uh, some new ideas and throw them into the mix as far as color scheme and design, but in the case of the Bruticus figures, this generally seems to be what they were going for. And I would argue in most of these cases, it does look as though the Combiner Wars version is much closer to the Generation 1 toy, and the Unite Warriors figures are much closer to their show counterparts. While there are are definitely cases in which I prefer the Combiner Wars figures and like the end result better, I don't really get the logic behind recreating the original toys. Now some people may like it as an homage, but personally I always looked at the classics or generations toy lines to kind of do the original characters from the cartoons or the comic books right, where basically the original toys had done the characters wrong. And not only in regards to design, which to be fair, you know, that's the way toys were made back then, but also in regards to color scheme. Maybe some people, especially original collectors, like the throwback to the Generation 1 toys. Like I said, in certain cases such as Swindle, I think that turns out better, you know, when they're copied off the Generation 1 toy, but I don't really like the idea behind it, and that's just me. Other people may be totally cool with it, and ultimately, if the figures are cool, that's kind of what I'm looking for, and I'm going to wrap things up there. Thanks for watching this comparison. I hope it was helpful for you guys. If you would like to see more videos like this in the future, you can keep up with the channel. You can also follow the channel for more regular Transformers commentary, and follow me on Twitter for more regular updates. Anyways, that is all I have to say for now. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, and have a good one, guys. I'll see you soon.